script that I got a couple days ago. Anyone that's been out of production with me knows I like to mess with the script. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Hello. Hello. and I'm here to tell you about the Old Coloma Theater's Living History Program. You see, I am not only Paul Gibbs, I am also Captain John Sutter, Swiss pioneer, Sam Brannan, businessman, journalist, and California's first millionaire, and my personal favorite, the most despicable villain. <laughs> I have played these roles for about 11 years. It's so rewarding whipping up these kids into a frenzy and then sending them off grandpa style. <laughs> I've performed alongside the Williams ladies for nine of those years. Maria books and manages the show. Lauren plays the host and narrator, narrator Miss Goldie. And Haley plays James Marshall, the discoverer of gold, and a miner, and manages the set changes and volunteers, children volunteers backstage. Wow. Got it? Got it. Good. We, we are accompanied by the old Columbia Theater's volunteers that assist with various tasks surrounding the school shows, as we like to call them. As many understudies over the years, as well as any many understudies over the years, Wesley Murphy, yeah. Caleb Thomas, Rocky McNabb, Curtis Gardner, Connor Carey, Connor! Alex Gibbs, Melinda Tipton, Yay! to name a few. <clears throat> now, Vicki Scott Moreno, daughter of our founder, June Scott, who wrote to our program, Coloma's Rush to Find the Riches, or Look for the Gold Within Yourself, wrote our program. <coughs> with the, excuse me. Registered with the wrote the play and registered it with the California Department of Education as an educational field trip for California Living History curriculum. June Scott, who saved this building from sure disaster and destruction after it was at the 1939 Rules Fair on Treasure Island, petitioned to have it moved to this spot so we could all enjoy the art of melodrama. Coloma's Rush to Find the Riches, or Look for the Gold Within Yourself, was first performed in 1982. And the school shows have run, an have run annually and educated thousands of fourth graders from all over California about key and historical figures within the gold rush in a fun and engaging way. We keep to the interactive melodrama format with some exceptions. Students are encouraged to answer questions, recall gold rush facts, and some become part of the play by volunteering to read lines and dress up both on stage and off. This show, Coloma's Rush to Find the Riches or Look for the Gold Within Yourself, has been the theater's primary source of income since its premiere in 1982. It kept us going through the lean years. If you've ever wondered how we do it, that's how. It's one of the most detailed and varied gold rush programs available for tour booking and seems to immerse, seeks to immerse students and their families in the Old West experience. We often hear that we are the highlight of their gold rush experience. So far, only river rafting and actually finding gold has topped us with regularity. <laughs> I'm here speaking to you about this because I like to, but because we want to recognize the school shows as a labor of love and the engine that powers this rural gem. We may be small, obscure, quirky, campy, silly, and even predictable, but boy howdy are we fun. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I now announce to you Captain John 
Sasha. Sasha's the name, and it brought me great fame. I came to America from the land of the Swiss <laughs> to make a new life on to start a new business. I landed here by boat in California, A. But back then it wasn't part of the U.S. A. You see, back in 1839, all this belonged to Mexico. Then, some land they gave to me, right near, in Sacramento. So, I built me a fort, but it wasn't very good. Mostly because it needed a lot more wood. Yeah. Then, a carpenter named Marshall I met one day. I asked him to build me a sawmill. Would you know what he said? Okay. 